Any good? Nah. Crap. Yeah, not as good as it was earlier. Like, it's cool, don't get me wrong. I mean, the state's crap. It's fucking amazing. But it's only a cloud inversion, isn't it? It's loads of them. It's the first one, actually. I've never seen a cloud inversion before. It's the first one. Are you joking me? No. Nah. When do I go hiking? When do you go hiking? That's a good point. Exactly. <laughs> We've well, got this cloud here. The wind's coming from there, which means this low point there will be here in about five minutes. And then oh, Mr. Fish here, yeah? Oh, Listen yeah. to Mr. Fish. <laughs> 16 mil, 8 mil. <laughs> How cool is that? That's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> oh, cool. 8 mil. So I'm prattling around with Romans 8 to 12. 8 to 16. Um, Fujifilm lens which I've never even held I don't think we've even seen one before but this is what he uses for filming with how cool this is amazing how wide that is I wonder if it's distorted so yeah it might be quite a good uh, a good um, lens for video anyway welcome to the Brecon Beacons and we're Roman Fox he's never been up Penavan before so that's where we are so we're doing the uh, the Brecon experience in uh, in South Wales so we're at the highest peak in South Wales, which is Penavan, 886 meters. Let me change this, because that is a bit too distorted. There's 12, yeah. So 886 meters, and we are standing on the top of what's known as Jacob's Ladder, which is an absolutely wonderful viewpoint overlooking the mountains in the background. You've got Cribbin, Corndy and all that. Uh, sorry, Cribbin and uh, Fanna Big. And it's been an amazing morning. Amazing, oh, it's gone bright again. Um, Roman's seen his first ever cloud inversion, which is unbelievable, because we've come down here, and I, my sort of go-to shot is literally, it's a bit of a bad habit, I suppose. Um, I normally get to this sort of location and try and work or improve a previous previous scene. Um, now, I was all set to do that. I did have a little trick up my sleeve, actually, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But Roman says, Gah, get your bloody drone in the air quick. <laughs> so I just ran back to the bag, grabbed the drone, threw it in the air, and we just got the most beautiful uh, uh, temperature inversion low cloud, whatever you want to call it. It's just been absolutely unbelievable. I don't know what it is with me and polarizers, only be asked about this. Always, 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 no matter what camera it's on, the polarizer always seems to steam up constantly. Really annoying, really annoying. I was gonna try this little baby this morning because I thought, getting to a location I've shot a million times, I'll try something different. And if I put this on the lens now, then I'm forcing myself to do it. And basically, this is an extension tube. You got one of them? They're dead, dead cheap. Oh, it's gone dark, is it? Yeah, yeah, they're dead, dead cheap. Saying that, they're normally about a tenner for the Nikon Z. They're fifty quid for some reason. This is a Viltrox one, really, really nice. So, um, just a bit of plastic moves your lens further away from the sensor, means you can focus really close. So, yeah, looking forward to <laughs> having a play with that this morning. 
And I'm, because I've put it on the lens now, I'm forcing myself to look for shots that I wouldn't normally take. Because I've never ever, outside of a studio, used an extension tube. This one's 24 mil. I've also got one, I think it's 12 mil in the bag as well. Any good? Hey, I'm waiting for you to finish so I can land it. Land it? Oh, like, it'll, it'll be noisy for you, no? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's this little, tiny little thing. Just don't land on me. No, Funny thing, when I took my drone off earlier, I, la I took it off from where I'm sitting. And then when I went to land it, well, it was running out of battery because the cold was killing it. And the uh, <laughs> drone did this auto return. And it says, right, emergency, brace, 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 return to home. I thought, yeah, okay, crack on. Does that annoying beep, beep, beep thing. Let it do it. And uh, unfortunately, there was people sitting exactly where I took off from. So it came back and all of a sudden just dropped down on top of their heads. I was like, oops, do you mind if I put my hand over your head? <laughs> just land the drone exactly because you're sitting exactly the chances of it of that, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, right. Okay, bad habit. Come to a location you've shot a million times and um, try and, I suppose, try and tw tweaking it. But I, want, I do want to take a shot, but I can't see anything at the minute. So I'm going to try and use this extension tube and get something arty-farty with these those little dew droplets, which look absolutely stunning on the uh, on the wet grass. I actually noticed <laughs> some in his hair as well. So there's loads of little droplets of water on the, on the grass around here. So I'm sport for choice with that. So I'm going to get really, really close and try and create something abstract. That's not something I've ever done before. So don't be expecting a decent image. Um, but it is good to push your creative boundaries sometimes. I can't see my histogram and whether it's getting brighter or not, but yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to, I've stuck it on a 24 to 70, um, my extension tube, because I, when I used to use extension tubes, I would always have them on a, on a portrait lens, uh, 85mm sort of thing, um, that, or, you know, something zoomed in. Um, but I actually read the other day that some, uh, if you're on a wider lens, like a 28mm, you can actually get um, a better sort of enlargement on the sensor if, you want, if you're trying to get a bigger thing. So it depends, I'm going to play around with it. So a 24 to 70 um, lens might be ideal for this, because I don't really know where to put the focal length. I don't know where to be. So I think I'm gonna start at 50 mil and go from there and see if I can find anything. But with a 24 millimeter extension tube, any extension tube, they're just a bit of plastic. There's no glass in them at all, I'll show you. That's the extension tube, but just a bit of, you know, just a bit of plastic, literally a bit of plastic. So nothing special. I uh, don't know why it costs 50 quid um, when the other ones are like a tenner. Um, there's no difference in quality if you spend a lot or get, I don't, I, not that I know, anyway. Um, so I'm going to stick a 50mm and I'm going to prat around, I'm going to try and find some nice water droplet photographs and see if we can uh, yeah, just chill out. The other thing I was going to tell you is when you're coming out, it looks like you're having a wee in the background there. <laughs> just turn around and that's what I thought you were doing, oh really? <laughs> on, my, on my own camera, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had enough of it. <laughs> So the other thing I was going to talk about is um, literally I'm up here with Roman having a fantastic morning and it's often the case if you're doing landscape photography with other people you kind of zone into what image you're trying to take so you you put this pressure on yourself you've got to get this shot and it, it, sometimes it can be social sometimes you can just sort of be about the photography and the photography can get in the way um, and I'm wondering whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing because obviously if your intention is just to come out and take nice photographs then of course that's a good thing. Um, but as I'm out with Roman, I've just sent the drone up and got some amazing, I hope their panoramics come out. You'll have seen them by now, I'm looking for, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see them. But um, yeah, sometimes it's like, I'm just happy now, just sitting here. I haven't brought my coffee maker. That was stupid because I was trying to keep the bag down and my fitness is absolutely appalling. So I haven't bought the coffee maker. Um, but I'm just sitting here now, chilling out with Roman. Um, saying hello to people as they come past. I'm not really bothered about photography anymore because I've got that drone footage. <laughs> I suppose because I've got that in the bag, I'm not that bothered. I am going to sit here 10 minutes, just have a look at all these little um, water droplets on the thing and then just chill out, have a laugh with them because photography can get in the way. Yeah? You know, Sometimes you want it to be sociable. Like he's just done a video, check out YouTube, um, Roman's YouTube video. He's just done a video on doing street photography on your own. Was that a hint? You don't want to do street photography with me anymore? No. <laughs> no. All right, say it as it is. <laughs> so yeah, he's just in a, a video uh, talking about street photography on your own, which I can... Yeah, look, Roman, it's clearing. Yeah. So you'll be able to see the mountain in a sec. Uh, maybe I will get a photograph. I'll be ripping that extension tube off. Right then, Nikon at the ready with the extension tube on. Going to press around with focal lengths. Don't really know where I'm starting with that. Um, but what I do like are these droplets. Um, 
particularly if you get the camera low enough to the floor you get the white background of the cloud so I'm going to zoom in portrait and just focus on really close I mean I'm probably going to be about two centimeters away from these tiny little things yeah look, look, look how small it is that's so that thing there it's like inch and a half tall so I'm going to go portrait put the camera in black and white mode so I can see and uh, focus, focus f11 so I've got some sort of depth of field and then yeah just looking at this beautiful beautiful droplets I'm gonna try and work this composition because at the minute as you can see naff all is happening in that direction and naff all is happening in that direction it's <laughs> a bit rude isn't it <laughs> you, you enjoying whales so far yes I saw one sheep and the sunrise <laughs> so it's not very Welsh then so you've seen a sunrise and a sheep one sheep that's not a Welsh experience <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nice day yeah it's a nice morning and I mean what is there not to be happy about it's no. great it's fantastic and it's like this every day in Wales no it's not <laughs> <laughs> so so relaxing why have I never done this before <laughs> this is so beautiful they all look amazing they all look amazing this is amazing i bet you can't see because it's backlit see it's clouded the clouds clearing absolutely freaking fantastic this is amazing though i'm really having fun here i can't believe i've never done it before um it's, it's once you see one shot and there's billions of them it's so inspiring because you're just running around looking at all these different ideas these different compositions and what i'm enjoying doing is trying to get a bit of a challenge i'll, I'll give myself is try and get it absolutely bang on in camera so that you know there would be next to no cropping next to no editing so keeping on the histogram trying to get the composition right things like that shooting in black and white if you're going to be shooting in black and white then i think these photographs are going to look amazing in black and white so i have i did i did put the camera in black and white so i could see what the contrast and everything looked like um, but yeah it's absolutely beautiful the wind um, makes it challenging <laughs> but no I'm, if you've seen my video a few months back when i talked about using live view and uh, sorry natural live view so basically on the fuji you've got natural live view and on like the nikon i put the camera in flat mode so i can see uh, a flat raw looking image that means i can get my histogram bang onto the right because i because it's a white sky and i want it to be almost white at the final image i don't want to get back to the the computer and all the sky be grey and have to bright. I mean, I know that you know, the camera's capable of brightening it, I know that, but I'd rather get it right in camera and literally open it in Lightroom and think, do you know what, it doesn't need anything. I get such a buzz out of that when you when you, when you you see a file and it hardly needs anything doing to it at all. So I'm, I'm really, really slowing down. I'm really relaxing, enjoying this. Uh, Roman's uh, bugging off again. <laughs> but no, the, I'm, I'm, the only thing I need to do now is get a nice photograph of Cribbon and this has been a 10 out of 10 morning, so really, really exciting. But if you haven't got an extension tube, jump. I'll put a link in the description now, jump on and uh, just to see what they are, but obviously you've got to get one for your camera, specific to your camera, but this is so, so nice. I really, uh, you've got to keep this in your camera bag. I don't think I'll ever go anywhere without an extension tube in my camera bag now. I'm having so much fun. Yes, I just did loads of like bracketed panos, but it was just like loads of... Ah, oh, nice. Basically, it's just this, but I just kept yeah. going and going and going. Going and going and going. And going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Please then, huh? Well, I think so. Um, hopefully I got the focus right, but I never know with these things. You take you a city boy out of a city, you see, and he falls apart with his camera. <laughs> well, I just focus on the clouds. Do you find it. street photography using your camera completely different to landscape photography? Or are you kind of in the same sort of mode and same sort of thing? Because yeah, same sort of thing. For me, the problem is focusing. You, you, yeah, I struggle. So I'm struggling to get make sure that the clouds are in focus. But how would you get that? How would you have clouds in focus because they're soft anyway? Depending yeah. on the lens, just focus infinity, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's what I've done. And yeah. then hopefully, I mean, some of them look a bit blurry here, which I'm yeah. not sure about, but maybe yeah. it's just because it's a soft cloud. Yeah. It's a soft cloud. You don't <laughs> see many of those around in London. You normally get hard, rectangular. Yeah, scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> Barbed wire clouds. <laughs> Barbed wire clouds. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. It's like eight mil. <laughs> this yeah. is where we are. You can yeah, see the. Like, it's like filming with a GoPro. It well, literally looks like. You have to be careful though because you get the uh, oh. Ibis shake. Well, 8 mil it shows the shake, does it? Yeah, anywhere between 8 and 12, if you're not careful, you'll get the Ibis wobble. Ah, oh, right, okay, well then. I right. mean, you can fix it, it eight, doesn't really matter. 16. 8. Yeah, I would get. How, how good? Does that look sweet, distorted? 12 is a sweet spot. You reckon, yeah? yeah. 12, there we are. Yeah, that is, that is about right, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 
every five minutes we think we're going to get a glimpse of that flipping cribbing but it's not happening um roman's really really pleased because he's managed to get some photographs that he likes let's bring that i can't see the uh, he likes of uh, from the top of penavan i'm just a bit only about 10 foot down from the summit um yeah he's really really pleased and i just really want to take my photograph for that i, I know it ain't happening it isn't happening i suppose i'm really really happy with my uh, my little beads of water droplets my macro attempt if any of you guys are watching this now and you're experts in macro or using extension tubes please fire away leave me rip the shit out of the photographs i don't mind let, let me know what i did wrong obviously we're all learning so uh, yeah be uh, be interesting if anybody's watching this video that knows what the heck i did wrong or how i can improve it because it's definitely something i'm gonna i'm gonna keep trying so anyway i think i'm probably gonna end it there because i'm just gonna chill now with roman and i really hope you enjoyed the photographs really in I, I can't wait to see that that inversion uh, footage that looks amazing so yeah anyway thanks so much for watching as i said check out this dude <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> check out this dude if you're into street photography or just somebody who likes talking to themselves yeah or, or, or watching a bell end yeah <laughs> yeah nearly fall over did you nearly fall did you don't hit my lenses I, I was nearly gonna fall on your bottle that would have been painful well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah make it look like an accident anyway all right thanks so much for watching hit, hit up um roman's channel and i'll see you in the next yeah. one take care guys